morning morning everybody michelle is here on this saturday october the 14th 2023 and i'm up and at it it's a little cool this morning which i i like it so far <laughs> you know the west coast style of cold outside i see people with their jackets on and hats and you know they look like they're dressed appropriately i can hear the birds so so all is good in my neighborhood and i hope the same for you i um i had gone to a i wanted to talk about this is as uh clear and effective as i can about los angels not los angeles <laughs> but lost angels and now uh, how that's kind of significant uh, for for various reasons, and you, these are based on something I'm sensing and receiving. Some of it is uh, I picked up in knowledge, you know, in, in gathering of knowledge from you know various teachers. One in particular, and I told you about him, Beam. Um, you know, in reading and you know just basically contemplating, cultivating, meditating, but not ruminating. In other words, just allowing certain things to kind of, so I can kind of connect dots with things, right? Connect the dots. So I had gone to a, uh, <laughs> which is so ironic, I had gone to a um, a vintage, um, what do you call those places? Vintage um, flea market, I mean, I don't know. It was a vintage market earlier this week. I had gone in there gone over to this particular uh, progressive city, newly constructed city. And, you know, it has some interesting situations going on there, and I'll talk about that at another time. But anyway, I went in there and I saw, um, you know, just, just vintage stuff. I mean, I, it was like I, I enjoy those kind of stores or markets or whatever they're called. Uh, and it was so funny the brothers that were with me, they were enjoying themselves too. So, so I, you know, it was just a, it is just something about certain, um, certain things that that are purchased in those type of stores, like incense, um, uh, you know. And I purchased um, this bowl here. You know, a lot of people get into this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So. I'll figure out the word, what I'm trying to say. You know, it is early, but that's irrelevant. What? But it was a vintage market, I guess is what it's called. Oh, gosh. Oh. So anyway, it's so funny. I went in there because, you know, I feel at home, not at home, but I, I enjoy certain things that has a um, has myths to them. They have mysteries to them, and they have, uh, you know, some stories. So this is a story right here, all right, based on my theories and opinions. All right, so um, I went in there and we were looking around, and it just so happened I came across uh, a depiction uh, uh, of a, a Medusa. <laughs> How ironic, right? And that brings me to Medusa and Lost Angels. Okay, and like I said, this is storytelling. Based on what I'm sensing and receiving, so I saw that I saw the, that statue in the in the uh, vintage market of Medusa, and that and that kind of stayed on my mind for a minute, and then I looked and then I kind of researched it, and I came to the conclusion based on my theories and opinion that it's uh, they it's, it's definitely feminine energy. Okay, I right. is definitely feminine energy. Now. And I sense over the over the course of um, space and time, uh, it has been intentionally degenerated. This particular feminine energy. So let me explain what I mean by that. I told you that we all have feminine and masculine energy, and that we're all responsible for neutralizing it. All right, and then that has nothing to do with our sexuality, though keep that in mind we are all responsible for neutralizing that energy feminine and the masculine energy 
okay? Uh, because of our degeneration over the course of decades, millennia, possibly, even you know, even far back as that, and I and I I I sense it is because of the perils of what we're facing now, due due to the due to the um, degeneration, degeneracy, degeneracy. I, I always say that improperly, um, and make this impersonal. And make it literal, figuratively and metaphorically, as as about what I'm about to say, because it might offend some, and it may not. I don't know. That's not my intentions, however. So, like I said, make it impersonal. So there's a degeneracy, degeneracy among the masculine energy, which is usually housed by what males, men. Okay. There's a degeneracy there, okay? And there's going to be proof of that at some point, you know, uh, in the distant future. All right, it's not going to be accepted now, okay? There's no way a man, and well, that I have, that I've not met who will accept that. And it is a theory and opinion from me based on my research and based on my uh, sensing and receiving. Okay, the masculine energy is uh, in in a in a in a almost free fall of degeneracy. All right, let me explain what I what that means. Okay, take it, not make it impersonal. Make it don't make it personal. Make it impersonal. So the, so like I said, Medusa, whether she existed or whether that entity existed or not because it's an I say it's an entity because of how it's described you know you know they have this female face but then they have all these snakes coming out of her her head okay so has anyone seen anything like that I haven't so that's how I I sense that it's an intentional depiction of feminine energy there's a plane coming through So, the feminine energy, okay, uh, let me tell you, uh, <laughs> the feminine energy is, 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 it's becoming sacred, it's, it's becoming a sacred, um, energy. And like I said, you know, if you're not neutralized properly, you're going to depict it in in a negative fashion, just as you would depict masculine energy in a negative fashion. Okay, because I told you we have our wording and our words and our action and behaviors have lost a lot of value. Okay, they've lost a lot of value where a lot of our words and 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 uh, you know mostly our words that come out of the, of the sounds and tones that come out of our mouth have no value at all, and that that means I mean just here follow me through this meaning they they've lost meaning in other words they've lost meaning because we haven't elevated our language we haven't elevated our frequencies we haven't elevated our consciousness or properly evolve our consciousness okay so medusa is definitely some type of feminine energy okay <laughs> um and what i'm sensing and receiving and i'm just gonna talk about this briefly i'm not gonna get into it because there's so many interpreted uh stories about medusa okay they, you know they, they say it's a it's a they say it's this it has been interpreted in contemporary art as a classic case of rape, rape victim blaming. Okay, you see how that's see how see how that sounds. Okay, and she's widely known as a monstrous creature with snakes in her hair. Now, visualize snakes in a woman's hair and tell me what hair that could be similar to. curly 
here. All right. So, but there's a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, things describing her as a monster, you know, they, they feared her feminine, fem, female desire. There's a fear of that. And a lot of books have been written about it. Uh, they say it's a symbol of female rage. Okay. So, that, I mean, does that sound negative? Does that sound neutralized positive? No, not at all. Um, it's, it's, um, they, and they claim in the 20th centuries, feminists reassess Medusa's appearance in literature and in modern culture. Okay. So, it just came, it came to mean a monster, female rage, unlocking its secret. You know, a lot of books have been written about it. Okay, and I'm just telling you, I'm not sensing and receiving that at all. That that's the, that's the, um, that was the original depiction of this, 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 uh, this woman, right? Or this, this literal, figuratively, metaphorically, uh, depiction of feminine energy. Okay? I think that's what it genuinely is about, the feminine energy. All right? So, and that brings me to Lost Angels. That brings me to Lost Angels. I'll go a little bit more into detail about the, all of this because, you know, you have, to, you, have to sprinkle, you have to sprinkle it out. Let that plane fly on by. Because, you know, I'm ready to drink some coffee. No, I'm ready to <laughs> I'm ready to start my day. No, how about that? No. Um, so, I since and received that Medusa symbolized literally, figuratively, metaphorically that 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 feminine energy that is um most sought after by what a certain group of people and I, I won't say anything more about that right now in other words it symbolizes the um the uh not the rage in the female but the rage in the masculine which usually are in the man in men Okay, so it's, in other words, it's not a female rage, it's a masculine rage or a male rage. Okay, and it's not, a, uh, it's not a female necessarily desire, but a male's desire of that feminine energy. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for there and let me get to the Los, An Los Angels uh, at, um you know, conversation right now. So the Los Angels, now whether it, it, it has, no, okay, Los Angels has nothing, absolutely, and let me, let me, I want to make this clear and effective, has nothing to do with religion, okay, and not, you know, and that, that depiction or symboliz, symbolism of angels relating to religion, that's not what I'm talking about, okay, I'm talking about feminine energy in the form of what we call angels you know that angel feminine energy type okay so um and it has nothing to do okay it has nothing to do per se with la <laughs> to my knowledge <laughs> you know um chances are someone may have been dreaming and and having um some 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 dreaming fantasies going on and you know, Los Angeles probably popped into their mouth. I, I saw that they had some type of history on it, but you know, you have to do your research. I, I mean, so in other words, I don't have any. I'm not talking about Los Angeles. I just want to make that clear and effective, or L.A. per se. <laughs> I'm talking about Los Angeles. Okay, that has nothing to do with religion. It has a it has a it has a um, has a force with feminine energy. It all goes together these lost angels and the feminine energy. So I talked about this briefly in one of my videos about, uh, well, they call it, we, we, they were saying time travelers, but I say more so lost angels that are, and these lost angels are actual human beings. 
okay? They're actual human beings. And what usually causes them to, to materialize is based on, because they, 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 okay, so they have a, um, uh, Los Angeles has have a have a okay we can say this is is um, a, a figuratively metaphorically and possibly literally they are considered lost okay they're lost all right so what does that mean they're lost okay I told you um, that we all have spirit forms right we all have a spirit form which is a battery that's attached to all of us literally figuratively metaphorically it's a battery of energy that causes us to pro you know which when the process of procreation happens we materialize as human beings and then when we die we pass the baton over to another and the process continues and continues and continues. And I told you we do that in human form for 40 to 60 million years. Okay, cool. Cool. Accept it or not. Free will. Remember that. So, so these lost angels are, I mean, okay, all of us are attached to a spirit form. These spirit forms are these particular lost angels because it's who knows how many they are. There can be thousands or millions of them, and because of the because of the uh, overpopulation of and let's put it this way because we have at least ten billion people on this planet. Okay, at least ten billion or approaching ten billion, and I told you a lot of planets were destroyed because of a lot of humans on the planet. Okay, hey, so. And I also told you that there's, we also have a circular of spirit forms. In other words, we have a circular of batteries of spirit forms or energy, which is invisible, but it's still energy nonetheless, and energy that has sounds and tones nonetheless, that are waiting, like they say in queue, waiting to be called, okay, to, uh, Procreate into human beings or procreate into human, I mean, into personalities. There's at least 120 billion already uh, part of this planet. 120 billion. Okay? Pay attention to that number. Okay? Now, if we have a planet that already has 100, I mean, already have almost 10 billion people. Okay, you see how, how is, the, is that massive? Is that massive for you? It sounds massive for me. And when I told you a planet destroyed itself in 2007 because it did go up to 120 billion people on that planet. Okay, they, they, I mean, they couldn't breathe no more. There was, the, the oxygen was depleted and they all, you know, I, I assume died in their sleep. Some were saved. All right. So, the lost angels are a part of a spirit form of, you know, a part of a spirit form. And when they, when they are procreated into human beings, they serve as a, they have a certain, um, task and responsibility okay most of them are highly 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 uh, advanced in their consciousness and so their skills and abilities had to be I think it's throttled let me see mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. otherwise they couldn't associate with anybody on this planet and I'm going to explain something to you. And you can take this as you, yeah, throttled. You know, in other words, it had to be um, leveled off. You know, leveled off. Or their their skills or their 
they're because of the con okay listen to this very carefully like i said every planet has a certain level of lower level kindergartner consciousness and some higher level uh graduate so to speak consciousness it's usually in the form of scientists and blah blah, blah so-called scientists okay all right so and you need that because each planet has to be able you know otherwise if you had somebody that was too high they could not live on this planet i want to make that very clear and if they're too low they won't survive on this planet all right listen to what i said if they're too low they won't survive on this planet if they're too high they won't survive on this planet either okay so a lot of those lost angels of feminine energy had to throttle their uh, consciousness. Otherwise, they would not have survived on this planet. All right, but they're on this planet because of the, the urgency of the situation that this planet faces. All right, so, um, so they're not necessarily, I mean, they can be time travelers because I, I'll talk about that in a minute. But I'm talking about a particular group of actual human beings of feminine energy that show up on planets when there's a, a disturbance as we have. And their, their responsibility is to assist with attempting to resolve it. Now, and so like I said, they had to be throttled in their advancements of themselves, you know, especially their femininity. Okay, now, and of course their conscious disabilities. Otherwise, they you know they wouldn't have, they, they they just just would not survive. So I'm going to say this again: high consciousness people that are above and beyond the consciousness level of the planet cannot survive on the planet. There has to be uh, uh, measures taken to throttle it. So that, so that that particular type of personality can survive on this planet and work in tasks or missions or whatever their, whatever their duties, responsibilities are. Okay, we have that on this planet in the form of lost angels. <laughs> I smile because, you know, I think, I think, it's, uh, I think it's fascinating. All right. Um, and they have duties and responsibilities to help, uh, to help us get back, to help us bring back what it means to be a human being in a true sense. Okay, we have lost that, and I told you we've lost complete control. Um, in other words, we have very badly gotten out of the control of uh, of human nature. Let me make sure I say that properly. We have badly gotten out of control of a good human nature, meaning being human beings in a true sense. So even though we call ourselves humans, where our actions and behaviors say otherwise, all right? Because we're, 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 we're throttling back, okay? In other words, we're rolling back. So it's like, it's a very, it's very bad getting out of, the control of good human nature. In other words, you're degenerating. Okay? A very bad getting out of the control of the good human nature. Degenerating. Degenerate, de degeneracy. That's what that is. And it's happening more so with males. Masculine you know, that's attributed to masculine male energy, okay? So these lost angels are, are, are here <laughs> to help to neutralize it. But here's the danger. Uh, because uh, they had to be throttled back and they had to come on a planet where the lifespan was um, short, uh, decreased, they, are, they could also be afflicted with uh, the abilities 
or lack thereof of being extremely aggressive and dangerous and 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 thus become just as uh, become serial killers too in, in my, is my point. They can also degenerate to a point of um, sociopath psychopaths and become serial killers too, but more so on the feminine side of it, if you understand what I mean. Feminine side meaning via poisoning, via, you know, these soft, not usually caught uh, crimes. And it's usually crimes of passion. That's why they say when a woman's fed up, there ain't nothing you can do about it. And that's so true. Okay, when a woman's fed up, there ain't nothing you can do about it. So, and they also have that other term. What's that other term? About a scorned woman. Let me see if I can find that. So, just because they are lost angels doesn't mean they can't degenerate either. I mean, yeah, degenerate. Oh, let's see what they say about that. It says, hell, hell <laughs> no fury like a woman scorn. And that, and, and let me tell you, hallelujah. Yes, it, I mean, there ain't nothing like it. Okay, they can keep, I mean, they can, they can cause just as much harm, you know, as the so-called masculine energy, where it's usually phys physical violence. And, you know, and, you, you know, and slashing of, uh, you know, slashing and you know, dismembering and you know all this, all that that we know about uh, serial killers. Like our favorite, you know, we have a fate. We have we have several favorites. I'm fascinated too by it because I'm attempting to understand. I'm not fascinated by where I need to, you know, uh, go out and, and and see what it's like to be such a human being and to have degenerated so. Okay. So, yes, we have lost angels on this planet that are attempting to make things right. But at the same time, they are just as susceptible to degenerating just as men are, as some have. Okay, like I said, they, you know, there, there's plenty of serial killer women that just have not been caught because they do it in a soft fashion. Okay, and mostly poisoning. Okay. I told you that I was a t there was an attempt to poison me when I lived in Atlanta. Okay, well it wasn't. It, yeah, there were there. Were, yeah, okay, let let me clear that up. I was poisoned, but they, it didn't. The the effects desired didn't didn't materialize because I'm still here. How about that? So, I suspect that Medusa was that feminine energy, that irresistible feminine energy. And that she may have, um, you may have disregarded the attention, didn't want the attention of the masculine male energy, and that enraged them, not her, that enraged them. And so that does cause them to create this history. Because if you look at every history of a woman in these, uh, these so-called books, there, there are no depletions of, of um, positivity, you know, positive uh, attributes to women. They're, they're essentially disappeared, erased, eroded. Okay, and so that's why we have this, this usually masculine energy that want to control the feminine energy. And when they realize they can't, then they put, they put measures in to do so. So let's ban books instead of worrying about, so they would rather worry about banning books or taking women out of books than worrying about nuclear weapons or finding peace amidst all the wars. They'd rather focus on that, the control of the feminine. And the feminine is usually in biological women. Let's make that clear and effective. Okay, so the biological feminine woman regardless of her sexuality, is the target of a lot of policies and procedures. They, they usually are the cause of war. Okay? And, and, and 
the masculine, usually in the form of a man, wants to control it at, at any cost. But I told you there's a flip side to that as well. Um, you know, the, 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 uh, the scorned woman usually, uh, I mean, they can degenerate as well. And that's usually via jealousy and envy. Okay, so it's true. When a woman's fed up, there's nothing you can do about it. They will seek revenge and retaliation. They will, regardless of what they tell you. Once they allow that type of, that type of um, affliction to become a part of their consciousness and their subconscious. Okay, so a woman is just as dangerous as a man. Okay, a man has more violence towards, usually depicted at women. And the women have the violent, I mean, have the softness, which is the, this, which will take out everybody, the children, the husbands, you know, their girlfriends, their, their girl, their girlfriends, their, you know, their, you know, they could take out their family too. And most of them, it, and they cause more damage to their children. They cause more damage to their children. Okay. So a lot of these so-called, um, you remember what they used to call them crib debt? What do they call that term where they when a woman wants attention? I can't I can't even pronounce it, so I'm not gonna even attempt to. When she wants that attention, she'll harm her child. Let me see. Oh, let's see if I can find it. Mm -mm -mm. I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificent, and marvelous because I am. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, it's a term. It, we all know about it. They, they seek attention, right, basically via their children. And a lot of women are having children for attention. I mentioned that before. You know, they're not getting enough attention. And they never will get the right amount of attention because they are degenerating. There's a degeneracy. So they're going to do everything by any means necessary to get some attention. So they do it with children, sadly. So that is why there's an explosion of young the explosion of the population started in the 90s. That's why there's such a that's where there's a, such a large amount of young youngness as you if, as you want to say it you know 30s and under. Okay, so I just wanted to share that because you know it's all started with me going in there. And I saw that Medusa sculpture, and that's and that's what popped into my head. That there is a intentional depletion of negativity towards the feminine energy. But but check out the contradictions though. Check out the contradictions because stand by. Just trying to figure out what that was. Well, who's? Oh, no, okay. Um. So, so that's why you you have to kind of think things through and ask yourself. All right, who would be, who would benefit from certain depletion depletions of and the, and the, and the, and the, and the and the lengths of of wish? Uh, uh, you know how people. What is the purpose of a lot of things that? that is in our history, that's being hidden from us. Well, it's, it's becoming obvious to me. And everybody else has to figure that out on their own. There's a reason why certain masculine identified males, because who knows what kind of type of energy is going on inside of them, because everything's in their thoughts anyway, and I have no idea. They say they're masculine, they say they love women, but yet they target women with the most extreme policies and procedures and that's been going on for decades and millennia okay they take them out of books they want them subservient they want them submissive and they want to be and they want to control them i don't care who you are 
Okay, there's a lot of men coming out talking, and I noticed that. Okay, they, they they're speaking. Uh, they're speaking clearly and effectively. They they have some logic, but I can tell they they bestow themselves as the ones that ought to be telling things. They're the ones that ought to be talking about certain things. Okay, and the woman is supposed to stand by and just and and, and sit quietly and you know with her legs crossed and not say a word. Okay, I don't I don't I'm not down with that. Okay, I'll I'll you know everyone has a has a, has the responsibility and accountability of their behaviors and actions, right? Everyone has their own theories and opinions. Everyone ought to be talking now because everybody will. There's a culmination of events happening. So everybody's going to come out of the woodwork. Okay, but you do have a, I, there is a certain group of male energy. And they say they're masculine. Well, I, like I said, I have no clue of that. that. But still want to be bestowed as the ones telling the stories. Okay, and if it's not coming from their mouths, it's not genuine. A woman cannot uh, be telling the stories as I am. Okay, and I said that some time ago as well. You know, it's coming from my mouth, a black lesbian with masculine energy. Okay, that bothers certain, certain masculine identified males. Okay, because they want to be the ones telling the story. And it has to come from their mouths to be right or true, instead of allowing all of us to share in this, in this abil- in this um, quest to help people. Okay, so I told you a lot of false leaders are going to come out too, and they're going to be talking fantastically, saying all the right things, and they're just as um, manipulative and deceptive as ever. Okay, I'm going to talk more about that too as well. So. Again, based on my sense and receiving, Medusa has been giving, has been depleted, uh, has a depletion of extreme negativity. And I told you, her, the snakes out of her hair, out of her head, symbolizes something. Curly, wool hair. It's my opinion. But they but they turn them into snakes instead. Understand me? So, I'm going to stop there. There's a lot more to talk about here. And I, this is going on. I don't want to put too much in your ear, but I want you to, to be contemplating, cultivating, meditating, but don't ruminate. Let it come through you. Just like when I went to the, in that bookstore. Was it a bookstore? I don't know what it was. A venture shop. I saw the Medusa sculpture. And I allow, I allow information to flow through me. And that's why I'm talking about it now. And I started doing some research on it. And then I connected the dots. And that's why I said the lost angels. Okay, the lost angels. Let me just share this uh, before I go about the lost angels. Okay, like I said, the lost angels are here as, fi- as that feminine energy. But they're human beings, nonetheless. But they have that type of feminine energy that can make or break. A lot of their skills and abilities were throttled because they would create massive uh, destruction on the planet if they're and, and and they wouldn't have survived. Let's put it that way. They can't. They would not have had survived because of the degeneration, the degeneracy of the male masculine energy. Okay. Uh, they would have, you know, it, it would have, you know, they would have, they, and, and their intentions at some point is to wipe out all of that because they can't control themselves when they're in that presence. They cannot control themselves, no matter what they say. They, they, and that's the issue with the incel crowds, you know, the ones that like to stay on video games all day. They cannot control themselves. And with the women that they seek are not seeking them. Okay. Um, so the lost angels have their purpose and their responsibilities, but they can be degeneracy as well if they are not conscious of it. Um, 
But at some point, uh, you know, th th there's going to be a there's going to be a question about where they actually end up. Now, when it comes to uh, space travelers, is it called space travelers? They they're they're wandering spirit forms as well. You know, I, I sense that the Los Angeles are a wandering spirit form. In other words, they're just trying to find a place to call home and be safe. But they keep running into the degeneracy of the masculine male energy. You know, that warrior, you know, you know, slash, you know, cutting off heads type of serial killer type of energy. So apparently that's prevalent in the vastness of the universe, but more so here. So they're here to assist with that. So they're wandering spirit forms, just as the uh, chime travelers are wandering as well. So we all, there's, there's a lot of wandering, how about that? <laughs> a wandering of uh, energy and then a wandering of people just trying to find their home and be, um, be welcomed as genuine human beings and not as objects. You know, so at some point I'm gonna talk more about this later because I want to also tie it into the 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 year of three nine nine nine. The uh, the year of three nine 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 has a significance as well as what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna stop it right now because, like I said, I'm hungry. I want to sense peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. And trust me, I'll be back.